Hello, so I thought I'd make a quick video and say happy Sunday, happy July. I'm making my Skinny Girls version of Pasta Primavera, which there's nothing skinny about by the time I get done with it, but it makes me feel better, right? So yesterday I already ate at Asian Buffet, so once you've eaten Chinese, you might as well go all the way, because it's going to be two or three days before your weight gets back to normal. I thought I was going to, you know, eat clean all week, because I'm got to fit into a dress I bought for a, a wedding I'm going to and I want to just, you know, you know, but that's not going to happen. Nope. I am not going to deprive myself at all. No, I'm not. I'm going to treat myself. Do I have to have a lot of company to cook this way? Hell no. Okay, that is my pasta primavera. What is it? I just took every vegetable I had in the house that um, I had cauliflower, I had carrots, I had green beans. My green beans were frozen, my broccoli was fresh, my cauliflower was fresh, my carrots were fresh, I had onion, I have some squash in there. So I have green, I have green squash, I have cauliflower, I have some skinny green beans that were frozen. I had a little crown of broccoli, so I tossed that in. I chopped up two carrots. I took a half of a brick of a low fat um, cream cheese, an eight ounce cream cheese, so about four ounces. Um, and I reserved initially two, I, I made a half a pound of, of linguine, cooked it up. And first I, first I blanched my, start with, first I blanched my vegetables in just a smidgen of olive oil and a touch of butter, like not even a tablespoon um, together. So like maybe a teaspoon of unsalted butter, a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil, just to get that buttery, oily flavor on the vegetables. Then um, I added water to it, and then I added one cup of chicken broth. So I just covered my vegetables and w with water and uh, chicken broth, like one cup of low sodium chicken broth. Um, let's see, I, what did I say? My, my green beans are the skinny green beans that are frozen, the carrots are fresh, the broccoli is fresh, the zucchini is fresh, red and yellow squash. And um, what else was frozen? Was there anything frozen in here? No, my cauliflower is fresh too. So, you know, pretty fresh other than the green beans. Onion, I do have a core, like a maybe a quarter of a little tiny onion diced up in there. I used a little tiny, tiny bit of um, garlic powder and a little bit of onion powder. And then I drained my al dente vegetables, and they'll keep cooking so you can do that. When your pasta is just al dente, just go ahead and drain it. Um, so it's got the chicken kind of broth. You could use a vegetable broth. You don't even have to use the broth. Just use the reserved water from your pasta. I took about two and a half cups of the reserved water. I began with one cup and a half of a cream cheese. And that is really all it is. That's it. There's no Parmesan in it. There doesn't need to be. It's really tasty enough. I did put black pepper in. Um, I mean, you could put, you could sparingly put a little bit of Parmesan, but you don't need it. Vegetables are all just there. They're not like, they're not mushy. They're just kind of, you can kind of cut them if you wanted to, but they're not mushy. Um, no milk, just a half, like four ounces of low fat cream cheese. Just whisk it into your chicken broth, pasta water that has come from your pasta. And it'll be starchy because you cooked your pasta in it, so it'll naturally thicken it. Just keep it on medium. Don't You don't have to boil it, and that's it. So I just want to share my recipe. I did do a lot of black pepper, but I might do a little bit more just in case. Taste it. Um, taste it. Yeah, I am. I want to see where I'm at with this. It might need, I don't know. I didn't do nutmeg. I usually do for a white sauce. I do a little nutmeg or cinnamon. Wow, I mean... Hmm. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, you don't need the Picorino Romano cheese. I find that Picorino Romano cheese is what usually puts salt weight on me. I'm going to taste. Hang on. I'm pull on it first. It's too hot. 
Do you hear me blowing in my pasta? I really just want to show off my Prince love symbol. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's my Skinny Girl Pasta Primavera. I did add low sodium um, chicken broth. I did 50% low sodium natural. Um, you could do no salt. I did do a pinch of salt in my linguine because it's like a cardinal rule. You got to have a little bit of salt when you're cooking pasta. Not really, but I grew up hearing it, so what the heck. Okay, and what I have left is still the pasta water that I um, use. So, I mean, I could keep thinning it, and I will. As it cooks, I'll keep thinning it because I don't want it to be really, really creamy. I mean, you could stop where you want to, but I don't want mine to be super duper. And as it sits here just on medium and low, the pasta is going to absorb, so you can keep adding your chicken broth in your your water that is already starchy, and it'll just get more velvety. Also, the cauliflower really helps it to be velvety smooth. I'm just going to leave it just like that. That's going to get used for another meal. I don't know what yet. And I'm going to eat the whole thing. Yes, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to eat the whole thing. Happy 4th of July weekend. Um, Happy July. Everybody be safe, be happy, go get yourself some yummy food. Don't worry about bikini and bathing suit weather. Hey, no. we never know. We never know when our next breath is. I'm not going to, I'm done. I'm done dieting for a special day or dieting for a special outfit I want to wear or dieting for a certain look. I mean, you just take care of your body. If your body is saying, I want vegetables. I want something creamy. I want beef. I want, unless you're vegan or vegetarian, then you're about, you, you have more of a struggle. I'm just going to do everything in moderation. In this heat, so damn hot. All I've been wanting is water, 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 water. But yesterday I was walking to the store and I was like, I want chips. And I never want chips. I was like, I want a whole bag of chips. I want a few bags of chips I bought. They were on sale for a dollar. I bought a big bag of barbecue chips and a big bag of regular chips and opened them up right in the store. And I had potato chip breath by the time I got to the, the counter. And I was like, I don't care. I'm munching on my potato chips. I obviously want this trans fat that I know is going to make me gassy and bloaty later with stinky fumes in the air. I really don't care. I wanted my chips. It's like, you know, that happens. So don't fight it. Just live. Enjoy life. Enjoy life. Ah, <sighs> Drink a lot of water, though, but don't drink that Nestle crap. This is true. We've known this for years, but just now we really know it. They're draining Lake Michigan. They're shipping it. They're killing all the fish. They're shipping their product to, um, what is it, China or some inland? Not just China. Offshore, Philippines. They're, they're shipping it all over to get bottled. Really, don't drink that shit. Drink, um, drink distilled water if you have to. Drink, I mean, if, you, if you're going for a bottled water, go for spring water if you can. But don't go with the Walmart purified flavor agents either. I see a lot of people buying those 40 packs of purified Walmart, you know, flavor agents added to it. And they don't tell you what it is. But what you will see in there is sodium bicarbonate. I've been comparing waters for probably 10 years now. <laughs> and um, they're all bad, okay? <laughs> None of them good. Man, must be something in the water they drink. Yep. Mm -hmm. Don't drink the water. Flood in the water. Mm. Um, clean it up the best you can. If you don't have chlorophyll tablets, which I know a lot of people use drops and chlorophyll tablets and um, different things to add to their water, 
that they buy because they don't know what the hell is in it or they're stuck with tap water, they can't get to a store, they can't even afford water. Um, that Nestle would try to up their freaking price of water. Make me sick. Um, if you don't have the money for chlorophyll tablets, really, simply, I know it sounds really horrible, but in a, in a hurricane or a storm, this is what you would do to survive. Take just a little tiny bit of regular bleach. I'm telling you to pour the bar in there. Just a little drop in your water and leave it. Let it sit for maybe a half an hour. And then drink it. It'll be just like, it'll be fine. It'll be much better than what you're drinking out of your tap water that your local water company is giving you. Or the bottled crap that you don't know what. I mean, it says it's coming from Maine. Got a big old pole in Maine. Spring water. Read the fine print. Then it says Nestle. Nestle. Don't use that. Don't use uh, craft crap either. Well, I'll talk more about that later. But um, this is the skinny version. It's not very skinny. But it is what it is. And I'm going to go eat it now. The whole thing. A whole big purple pan of yum is going in my stomach. And I'm not even going to complain when I'm 500 pounds later. No, I'm not. Because I want that. All of that. <laughs> Just joking. Okay. I gotta go. Um, yeah, and see how it's taking that up. So, okay, that's what we do. It's the end of that. Never mind two meals for that. That's getting, that's getting whisked in. So I'm using all the water I cooked it with, which has all that beautiful flavor of butter and olive oil and onion and a little bit of garlic in it. And the chicken broth. So I'm not wasting my chicken broth. No, I'm not. So that come to a... Let it just sit on low if you want to use all of it. And just... It'll puff up and be fine. It won't be too mushy because I took everything out. It, if you take everything out at El Dante, it'll just... We'll see. A little bit of simmering down without a lid on it. It'll just come to the top and be delicious. So, um, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Have a great day. Bye.